Hey, hey there, Waddlers. How you doing? It's me, your boy, Lil Gamer here. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number four. I need to start today's video off with a big thank you. The support for this series, it's been amazing. The reception is warm, and it's getting me even more hyped for this world than it was before making this, and, uh, yeah, I was already, like, crazy, crazy hyped, so thank you all so much. Also, by the way, I need you to do me a big favor. Go down below this video, like you've been doing so far, and hit that like button. In fact, no, this time, don't hit it. Kick that like button. That's probably a little harder. Err, uh, what was that? Oh yeah, that's right. Nothing. Anyways, I love this world. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number four. So, not to brag or anything, but we're doing well. So well that I've actually added another chest to our lineup here. Yes, it is a little embarrassing that this lineup is still outside under the sky, but it's okay. We love nature. We'll fix it soon. Inside of this chest is... wait for it ores all of the ores that we found in the last episode i did smelt up everything that we had including this trash right here but there's a gaping hole in this chest it is bad uh right here or right here uh probably there should be shiny blue things things that are a lot better than this other blue stuff right here and way better than this absolute garbage over here Diamonds. We're missing diamonds. Last episode, we found none of those. This episode, we're finding at least 10 of those things. Mark my words. Also, I'm a little bit of a liar. I said I was going to end the last episode looking good, and then I forgot to do that. I got overwhelmed, completely forgot. Today, we're going to start off by looking good. We're going to make a full set of iron armor right here and suit up. Now, Armor in Minecraft is kind of interesting. Uh, iron armor isn't the worst tier of armor, but it's probably your first tier of armor. You see, in Minecraft, leather armor exists, but leather armor is kind of just garbage. Honestly, that's the easiest way to put it. And you see what's interesting about leather armor? It costs 24 leather to make, just like iron armor, but leather. But the thing is, uh, 24 leather, not exactly easy to come across, unless you're slaughtering all of the cows in your world. And if you do have 24 leather, you'd probably be better off saving it and using it for bookcases instead of leather armor. So, iron armor is probably going to be the first armor that you get. Once you put it on, uh, take a look at this. Right above my health, brand new bar. That bar is my armor bar. The armor bar is a visual representation of how much armor protection you have. So take a look at this. Iron helmet plus two armor. Unsurprisingly, in Minecraft, every piece of armor adds a little bit of armor protection. Now, iron armor is actually the third best armor in the game, at least as of right now. Diamond armor is better than iron armor, and netherite armor is better than diamond. Of course, you already know your boy wants netherite, but first, we need diamonds. Today, we're going to talk the easiest way to find diamonds in Minecraft. So, diamonds. That's probably the best spot to start. Today, we're finding at least 10 of those boys. Hopefully, a little bit more, but 10 would be good. If we find 10, we'll have enough diamonds for a pickaxe, a sword, and an enchantment table. The three essential must-have first diamond things. Uh, that kind of sounded weird, but yeah, we want a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword and an enchantment table. Now, diamonds are interesting because they are the best ore in all of the overworld, but they're actually not the rarest ore. The rarest ore is actually the emerald. Now, crazily enough, we found three emeralds in the last episode, which, I mean, I feel like, personally, is a pretty good sign for this episode. Three emeralds? That's kind of crazy, and we weren't even, like, looking for them. Like, that's some crazy luck. So today, hopefully 10 diamonds, easy, off the books. In fact, it's actually already done. Now, uh, finding diamonds. Finding diamonds can be a little bit tricky. In the last episode, we were caving. We were also mining. It means pretty much the same thing. But you see, today, elites, it's all different. We're gonna switch it up. In this episode, we'll be mining, but we won't be caving. Instead, we'll be branch mining. Now, what is branch mining? Well, branch mining is one of the most exciting things in all of Minecraft, believe it or not. Uh, picture this. You're under the ground, uh, like we are right now, but you're not at Y41. You're all the way down at Y11. Y11 is the best spot. More on that in a minute. You're all the way down at Y11 and you're digging. Uh, not like up or down or anything cool. Like just, just digging. Like digging a long two block tall hallway that goes on forever and ever and ever until you decide to turn. Probably right or maybe left. And then you just go all the way back. 
Ah, uh, yeah, that's branch mining. Basically, long tunnels looking for ores. Branch mining honestly isn't very exciting, but it's amazing for finding Minecraft ores. You see, most of Minecraft's ores, or really, honestly, all of them, have one big thing in common. You can actually find them all generating down low in your world. So if you head down low, you could find a little bit of everything. Maybe some iron, maybe some coal. You know, basically everything that we're looking for. Now, uh, real quick, uh, we're gonna switch things up a little bit because I hear some zombies. I wonder... <gasps> Oh, ooh, okay, all right, I didn't expect this, this is really cool, this is a mine shaft, I have a feeling this is probably gonna be the mine shaft that we found in the last episode, but wow, a mine shaft, either way, that's really, really cool, we have rails in here, I didn't think I, yeah, I didn't get any last episode, okay, okay, so we're gonna actually have to take a little bit of a detour here, just a tiny one, and actually light just a little bit of this up, honestly, oh, a skeleton, okay, well, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm a new person, you can get out of here, buddy, get out of here, mm-hmm, exactly, iron armor, you can't stop me, skeleton, uh, anyways, we're, we're gonna go ahead and light up just a tiny bit of this mine shaft, make it safe, and then continue moving down to Y11, we should be, yeah, we're pretty close now, but we're not there quite yet. Uh, oi, oi, I heard that. Where's the creeper? Um, <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. Uh, false alarm. Ooh, some lapis. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna need that suit and gold, too. You know, we actually, uh, surprisingly, might need some of this trash soon. I don't like to say it, but we actually might. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gold, too. Thank you, gold. But also on thank you because you're gold. Gold is garbage. Uh, gold ruins my day. Every day. Always. Anyways, I've got a little bit of the mine shaft lit up. There are more ores around here, but Y11, that is my goal. So we're gonna move all the way down there. Now, if anybody tells you to branch mine or strip mine, as it's also called sometimes, on anything other than Y11, like Y10, Y12, they're lying to you. They straight up just don't want you to find diamonds. They are being a terror. Hey, uh, more mine shaft, I'm assuming? Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, they're straight up lying to you. They don't want you to find diamonds. They're like trying to heed them for themselves or something rude like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, don't branch mine on anything other than Y11. Scientifically, not proven. Not proven at all. But Y11 is my lucky spot, so I recommend that you go to Y11 too. Goodbye, Creeper. Okay, this is Creeper Cave. All right, all right. There's like, okay, there's at least three more Creepers. That is cool. That is cool. We love to see it. We actually hate to see it. Please go away. Uh, did that take out, uh, I think that took out two of those boys. Big brain move, we used the creeper to get rid of the other creepers, but there's even more creepers. There's one there, and there's one over there, and there's a skeleton too. Hey, maybe, big maybe, we can get that skeleton to shoot. Okay, yep, that's not gonna work. I was gonna say there's a skeleton to shoot the creeper, that would've been cool. No matter how you put it, sooner or later we're gonna have to move into this cave. So, uh, I mean, we might as well just go now. Our health is doing good, Oh, baby zombie, baby zombie, not so quick. Oh, another one, another one. Now, lava, okay. Okay, uh, mine shaft up there, insanely dangerous, probably should eat a little bit. More lava over there and more creepers. I told you this is creeper cave. This is not cool. Creepers, enough with it, enough with it. I get it. Okay, you know what? Yep, thank you. Thanks, thanks, that's perfect. I planned on that to happen. I definitely did, 100%. Uh, okay, so we have the water bucket. Definitely gonna wanna get rid of this lava, make it a little bit safer, and I guess light this up. Then. We're gonna branch mine. I, I said we're not caving today. And okay, there's more. Oh, what is what is going on in this cave? What is this? This is not funny anymore. Yeah, just go away. Whatever. Uh, and there's more lava. Okay, all right. Now, when you're digging down to Y11, you have a couple different options, but I highly recommend just making a staircase. A simple staircase for now will do. We might come back and make the staircase a little bit better, but we definitely have to go back up the staircase right now and make sure it's all bright and also grab some wool for a bet. When you're branch mining, I definitely recommend setting up a little bit of a, like a starting base, a starting camp right at the entrance of your mine. The starting base or starting camp should have a couple things. Thing number one, a bed. Beds are great to have really anywhere, including down in a branch mine. You're gonna be under the ground, so you'll be safe in nighttime, but let's say you wanna go back up and it's nighttime. Well, you can flip it over to daytime with a bed down there. You're also gonna wanna have a crafting table down there. Another good thing to have, probably a furnace. You're gonna find ores down there, and if you wanted to, you could smelt those ores up right away. You could go with a blast furnace if you were really on top of things. Finally, you're gonna wanna have a chest. You're gonna find a lot of random things down there, probably a lot of cobblestone, which for us, that's really good news. I actually love the idea of finding more cobblestone. You see, I wanna do a build very soon, and for a build, we need building blocks. Coincidentally, cobblestone, great building block. 
So anyways, finally, we've made it down to Y11. Once you've made it down to Y11, I recommend clearing out a little room. Now this room could be however big you want it to be. You can make it like literally tiny or you can make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna go with a small room, but not like the tiniest room in the world. This room is going to be our base camp room. Now this is entirely optional. If you're really wanting to find diamonds right away, then just go for it. Don't worry about setting up some kind of room. That's definitely not necessary, but we are probably gonna use this mine for a little while, so I wanna make it at least a little bit nicer. Uh, now this whole cave system stuff over here, kind of a problem. I'm terrified of it. It wasn't exactly the most welcoming cave in the world, so we're gonna probably block it off somehow, maybe with just like a bunch of cobblestone or even maybe some fences fences might be a good call but there we go a small room right at the entrance and it's pretty messy in here uh honest because of the whole cave system thing so you know what let's actually switch things up let's dig this way instead <gasps> no way no way no way no way why 11 you see what i mean no way we have diamonds we have diamonds this is not a joke elites we have diamonds right here why 11 right off the bat you see this is how you find diamonds the easy way if i didn't ever find that cave system if i didn't ever get sidetracked with going back up and lighting up my dark staircase if i didn't get sidetracked with making this room we would have found diamonds right away this is beautiful but well, you know what's not beautiful the lava Always, once you've found diamonds, clear the area. Make sure there are no mobs nearby, like creepers that could ruin you, or uh, even worse, lava. Lava will take the diamonds straight up right away. Don't let the diamonds fall into lava ever. Wow, this is crazy. This looks like we're gonna have a solid block of four diamonds, or, or like, a, like a two by two, so like eight diamonds total. Wow, this is crazy. That's like most of the diamonds that we needed right off the bat, no way. Wow, this is beautiful. I need to get a picture of these. Okay, yeah, not gonna lie. This is the luckiest I've ever gotten with diamond finding. Wow, this seed is literally probably like all sevens. The start, it was lucky. The follow-up, it was pretty lucky too. And now, right now, we're lucky. This is crazy. I feel like we should probably go to the nether like ASAP and start finding netherite because I'm sure it's gonna be like crazy easy. Like, this is amazing. Uh, anyways, I wanna make my main hallway going this way, so I'm gonna move my chest and my crafting table and diamonds. Those are amazing. Now, once you find diamonds, if you wanted, you can go back up to the surface and put them somewhere safe, or you can put them in your safe chest. This chest is not exactly safe right now, so I need to really quick light up this cave. I need to finish it off, and then we're going to start mining. I, I didn't even talk about how to do it yet. Uh, <laughs> we already found the diamonds. This is crazy. Something terrible just happened. I lost my iron pickaxe. Now, that iron pickaxe isn't the first pickaxe of the world, obviously. I mean, we, we started with the wood pickaxe, of course, but it was the first iron pickaxe of the world. Oh, uh, my day has been ruined. Forget about the diamonds. The day just got, it got a lot worse. I can't believe I let that happen. I told myself I wasn't gonna let that iron pickaxe break. I was gonna have it forever, and I didn't have it for very long. Um. I guess it wasn't that special after all. Anyways, bad news aside, here's the mine entrance that I came up with. It's pretty small, but I feel like it has this really nice cave vibe. I like it. Now, in all honesty, uh, we didn't need to do this at all. We probably won't be here for very long. Now, branch mining. This right here is branch mining. When you dig a hallway like this, that goes really, really far, and hopefully along that hallway, you find good ores like diamonds. Maybe you find some redstone. Maybe you find some iron, maybe lapis, hopefully not gold, but yeah, good ores. Doing this is honestly pretty self-explanatory. Y11, start digging a long hallway two blocks tall so you can actually move through the hallway. Just look around for ores, and as you go, make sure you light it up. Now, technically, you don't have to light it up, but if you don't light it up and you make this hallway really, really long, eventually mobs are going to start spawning in this hallway and that's gonna be a headache, especially if you're going to make a mob farm on the ground near this area in the future. Now, in all honesty, we probably won't do that here. We're gonna definitely do that in this world, but it would be done over at our main base. This is just sort of our starter base, so technically, I guess we don't have to worry about lighting the hallway up, but I don't want mobs in it. It's just kind of a headache. If we were to find like a bunch of diamonds and then have to fight our way out, yeah, it's just not worth it, and that's not the point of this. The point of this is safe mining and easy mining. Now, we've already found eight diamonds. We only need to find a couple more, which I think is pretty achievable, and where are we? We found another cave system. There are like caves all over this area. This is interesting because this cave looks to be an underwater cave. You know what? 
I think we've hit the ocean at least. I think we're in a water cave. At least partially. Yeah, I hear a drown. We definitely have hit the ocean. Now that's interesting. We're definitely going to need to switch things up a little bit and not be in the ocean. But look at this. A water cave. Maybe. I could get crazy lucky and find diamonds here, but actually probably not. Because we're not going to go into it today. The armor's just not good enough. Here's another totally optional thing that you can do to your branch mine. While well, branch mining, if you wanted to, you could make your main hallway, so this hallway right here, and then it's actually going to turn because of the ocean, into a 3x3 three three block wide hallway. Now, why would you do this? Well, really, in all honesty, there's no reason other than aesthetics. You see, when I'm setting up a branch mine, it's usually a mine that I'm going to use for a long time. There's really no point in setting up more than one branch mine in your world, unless, of course, your first branch mine got really big, like crazy expansive, you kind of ran out of room, and you need more room to mine. Then then maybe you'd set up another branch mine, but honestly, it would take like forever to get to that point. And at least how I see it, if it's something that you're going to be using a lot, something like a branch mine, you might as well spend a little bit more time and make it look good. Now, actually, it looks like we found another cave system up here. This is kind of crazy at this point. Yep, another cave. Definitely going to have to light that up. And would you look at that? We're actually right underneath that mine shaft. I feel like the game is telling me to look into the mine shaft at this point, but no, not today. Big brain gravel or sand tip right here. Place torches on the ground, break the block underneath the gravel, and boom, the gravel falls onto the torch and turns into block form because blocks can't sit on the same block as other blocks in a torch. It counts as a block. So at least here's the move. This is going to be our main hallway right here, but it's going to turn because of the ocean. So the main hallway is going to go down this way. We're going to branch mine for a while until we find at least two more diamonds. But honestly, with that luck, I'm hoping to actually double what we have. 16 diamonds. If we found 16 diamonds, that would be crazy. Before we get too far into the branch mining, let's talk supplies. When branch mining, you're going to want to bring a few things with you. First off, pickaxes. If you're branch mining for a long time, you're probably going to end up going through a lot of pickaxes. And bonus points if your pickaxe has unbreaking and efficiency and then either fortune and so touch. If you're crazy lucky, maybe you have mending as well. Enchantments are always a good thing to have, but uh, unfortunately, we don't have those quite yet. If you don't have a good enchanted pickaxe, you're going to need to have just a lot of pickaxes. Uh, it happened again. We hit another water cave. This is not good. Uh, this is not the plan at all. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to probably have to make a tunnel going a different way. That's just too much water to remove. Having a lot of food is also always a good idea, but that's not the only thing that you should have a lot of. You should also have a lot of wood when branch mining. Just like with caving, like we talked about in the last episode, if you're stocked up on wood, you're stocked up on pretty much everything else. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, we hit another lava pit. When you find these lava pits, I always highly recommend dumping lava buckets across them all and mining near them. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, this is a good day. This is a great day. This is crazy. Those are the diamonds that we needed right there. Wow. That's amazing. Now, uh, I actually got a chance to see kind of under that block before I dumped the, uh, the water in here. And I know that there's more lava under that block. So what we're going to do is this right here. Boom. Goodbye, lava. Hello, obsidian. Now, we're going to start uh, carefully taking these diamonds, and I also hear a slime in the background. That's crazy. Uh, okay, I'm not going to complain. Five more diamonds. That's amazing. Nicely done, Minecraft world. Nicely done. Yeah, we definitely need to go look for netherite soon. This is crazy. This is mind-blowing, honestly. 13 diamonds already. Okay. And honestly, you know what the crazy part about all this is? Uh, we have, like, barely branched mine, like, at all. I've just been setting up my main hallway and talking about random things, which is crazy. Now let's talk tactics real quick. You see, branch mining is a pretty simple thing, easy to comprehend, but there is a little bit of a uh, strategy involved with it. When digging your hallways, you're going to want to place these hallways a little bit, uh strategically with some thought you see you could make your hallways like one block apart like i could put one right here and then i could put one right here but that would be a waste of time because you see in this hallway we can see this block if i were to put my next hallway on the other side of the block i'm still going to be able to see that block but on the other side the other side isn't going to be diamonds meaning from this side it's a stone block from this other side it is still a stone block to save yourself some time and definitely some pickaxes you're going to want to space your hallways out when i branch mine i like to space my hallways two blocks apart but some some people like to go three blocks apart. So right here we have three blocks, then our next hallway would go right in here. I like to do two blocks so I miss absolutely nothing, but some people argue three blocks apart to cover more ground. You see, when a chunk of diamond generates, it's very, very rare that it will just be one single block. And if we had one single block of diamond in the middle of these two hallways, it's one block of diamonds. We're probably not going to miss it. Think back to that first diamond chunk that we found, or honestly the second diamond chunk. 
Both of those chunks were at least two blocks wide. If our hallways were spaced three blocks apart, we still would have definitely seen those diamond chunks if our hallways were going through those diamond chunks. So I completely understand the argument there, the reasoning. Uh, it makes a lot of sense, but I still like to make my hallways two blocks apart just so I know that I'm not missing a single thing at all. So to sum up everything that I just said real quick, dig down to Y11. At Y11, start making a hallway. Go back and make that hallway a little bit bigger. Three by three if you'd like. That's what I like to do. That'll be my main hallway. At the front or the entrance of that hallway, I like to set up a little bit of an entry room. In that entry room, I put a chest, a furnace, a crafting table, and a bed. Then I go down that main hallway and start digging hallways off of that main hallway. The other hallways are still all at Y11. Y11 is definitely the move, as I've proven today. The hallways that I dig off of that main hallway are two blocks apart, but you could go three. But I like to go two. Two is the way. And we have officially looped back into the other cave system again, where we started. This thing is crazy. Now, honestly, we haven't gone that far, but I hear a slime. I need to find that slime. You see, slime are kind of crazy. They're not very common in a Minecraft world. We have a slime. <gasps> no way. That room right there. That room is a slime chunk. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is crazy. We need to get over there like right now and take that slime out. Slime are pretty rare. This is crazy. Wow, and I think this is a, is it a big, oh, it's a big slime too, which means the most slime possible. Now you want to be careful with the big slime because they are big. And the big slime, they kind of pack a punch. But the little slime, not a problem at all. They actually can't hurt you. They're too small to hurt you, but I still don't want them to be alive. I'm sorry, slime. I would rather have those slime balls. 13 diamonds, 8 slime balls so far. That is honestly pretty crazy. That is like the best branch mining that I've done in a long time. But now, no more distractions. We are officially onto the tunnel digging. My plan here, keep digging tunnels until I hit at least one chunk of diamonds. After that, I have no clue. It just really depends on how long it takes. Sometimes it can take a long time to find diamonds. Other times you'll get crazy lucky and find diamonds right away. It's really a toss up. When branch mining, I do highly recommend that you take out every single piece of ore. You find a chunk of coal, take out all of the coal. You find iron, take the iron. You even find gold, well, take the gold. When mining out blocks, other blocks are exposed. Down here, so low in the world, those other blocks could definitely end up being diamonds. Maybe I'll get like crazy lucky and that'll actually happen. That would be like perfect. But yeah, always mine out every single ore that you find down here. It's just a good call. And in case I haven't said yet, diamonds generate between Y1 and Y15 in your world. If you do end up branch mining above Y15, just straight up, you're wasting time. Unless you have some oddly specific reason for branch mining above Y15, always below Y15. And hey, would you take a look at that? Emeralds, which means we're in a mountains biome again. Uh-huh. Another thing that I like to do sometimes when branch mining is dig out all of the diggable things. So a diggable thing, something like gravel or dirt. Shovels are really cheap and dirt is really easy to remove. If you're lucky, when you take out the dirt, you'll find diamonds. And so here we are, more diamonds. This is a beautiful sight. And how did I find those diamonds? Well, easy, I was digging out dirt. What did I tell you about digging out dirt in these branch mines? Look at this. So I was thinking that probably, maybe, I'm gonna wanna level some ground when I'm setting up my starter house, probably next episode. So I decided that, yeah, every single big chunk of dirt that I find needs to be dug out. I was digging this one out and boom. Count them. One, two diamonds. Now, <laughs> honestly, two diamonds is kind of laughable. That's not like the most diamonds at all, but I mean, that's pretty good. And I think that's actually where I'm going to call it today. I've been branch mining for quite some time. We have even more things here. Another entire stack of iron ore. Yeah, things have been going pretty well. Branch mining is both easy and safe. It's also the most reliable way to find diamonds if you're branch mining at Y11. Okay, in seriousness, you don't have to do it at Y11, but Y11 is definitely my move. It worked out pretty well for us today. So final count, here's what we have. Bunch of random blocks inside of this chest, including a good amount of dirt and a good amount of gravel. Pretty excited about that. And then over here, all of these ores, and actually we need to turn all of this redstone into blocks so we get our final count, boom right there look at how much more iron i found this is crazy and a total of 15 diamonds too Ooh, you know i'm pretty happy about this one today this went way better than i ever thought it would 
One final big brain move that I have for you, when setting up a branch mine that you're gonna use for a long time, make the staircase up and down uh, something better than just jumping on blocks. Like make actual stairs or maybe make like a bubble column or something like that because you'll end up wasting a lot of hunger and with that food by jumping up and down these blocks all the time. In between episodes, I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. I'm going to try and smelt up all of the smeltable ores in my blast furnace over here. Everything else belongs in this chest, including those precious, precious diamonds. And so it is, that's gonna do it for guide episode number four. If you're looking for diamonds, the best way to do it is branch mining. Until next time, oh wait, there's more. We have comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is from my guy, Akoto Kuzumoto. The question, how much planning goes into your builds and how much of it is just a spontaneous, this would look good feeling. So honestly, it's, I would say about a 60-40 mix. I'd say about 60% of it is a vision that I've had before I start the build. You see, usually I try and plan something out either in a creative world or in my head. But of course, while actually doing the build, other things come to mind. Those other things make up that other 40% of the time. Usually those random spontaneous things are smaller details on a build though. Building is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. When I come up with a random idea that I wasn't thinking of putting into a build or adding onto a build and then I put it in and it looks good, it's an amazing feeling. And speaking of builds, we are missing one big one. Next episode, I think it's finally time to take care of it. Today, I'd like to send a big shout out to my patron, BrownBanana13. Thank you so much for the support. And also, big shout out to my boy, Nutty, for these brand new pop-ups. You know, these things right here. The pop-ups, they're super clean. I'm going to go ahead and link Nutty's Twitter down in the description below. If you haven't yet, slide down below this video and kick that like button. Also, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you never miss an upload. Until next time, elites, stay cool. It's been me, your boy Waddles. Goodbye, everyone.